days Running it down on these niggas uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder My nigga, you know how we get it, my nigga Still be painting them bitches, my nigga Ripping that roll and fucking your bitches Sex, drugs, money, and murder 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 Niggas, they never gon' hurt you uh-huh. Niggas, they never gon' hurt you uh-huh. Sex, drugs, money, and murder uh-huh. Sex, drugs, uh-huh. money, and murder uh-huh. Got the traps right, understand how to get that Ran down on them niggas with a flip back New and Howdy. How are y'all doing this evening? This, vi- this video right here is I'm going to discuss the whole drama with the Black Man Spear and the whole Red Pill community and basically, you know, where you got Kevin Samuels, Abba and Preach, Ayente and, you know, even old Shea Duke Jackson is even involved in this and they all going at fresh and fit. Everybody's going at fresh and fit. Here's my opinion about fresh and fit. I like their platform. I like what they do with the females. You know what I'm saying? I was watching them for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I watched them more than Kevin Samuels. Um, I saw what they was doing. They was gravitating to a younger crowd. They had, you know, the who's who on there. A lot of bodybuilders was on there. Um, you have Mike Rashad that was there. You had uh, Academics, Mr. Organic. You know, so you had a lot of people that was the who's who on YouTube and just social influences and, and a lot of beautiful women. Um, they made world star for a lot of crazy <laughs> shit. I'm not going to lie. Um, especially the situation that happened with, um, you know, the females that they throw out the studio that, that really, I was a little like, damn son, you gotta, you know, really gotta watch the type of women you bring on your platform. And then to that, going to the situation that happened with the with the homie Ayante coming in the you know the, to the to their apartment and basically you know having a standoff with you know Myron and whole big crazy situation. Now, this is my opinion. I feel like Fresh and Fit is doing a good job on YouTube. I feel like. A lot of people don't like them because they new and they're different, which is cool. Um, I don't have an issue with the guys. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I watch their platform. I think they cool. I like their vibe. You know, it's a, um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it don't rub me the wrong way because they having conversations with women, beautiful women, attractive women. Um, the only problem I have with them is the certain type of women they bring on their platform, but that's to, you know, to, to each his own. I don't have a problem with that, but, um, really and truly they have gotten a lot of, you know, heat from the red pill community, the black man, I should say, not the red pill community, but the black red pill community. They've got a lot of heat and a lot of attacks and. You know, they had the issues with I bomb preach and then, you know, from then, you know, they did a whole live uh, explaining themselves and basically talking about, you know, um Kevin Samuels and, you know, addressing how he had a problem with them, you know, going live at the time he goes live and you know, it was a whole lot of that going on back and forth in uh riffs. Um, but what people gotta understand is, man. Business is business. Um, I don't think no man should tell another man or any man should tell them not to do a show live. You know, you are in show business. YouTube is show business. It's entertainment. So NBC is not telling Fox News, you know. CNN is not telling, you know, MSNBC not to go live when we go in live. It is what it is. It's competition. So what dudes got to understand is you can't get mad with them. And I, I saw O'Shea did a video talking about, you know, when Kevin goes live, nobody goes live. Listen, man, these dudes got a platform. You know what I'm saying? If they want to do what they want to do 
and they, they oblige him one time, you know, they have a platform. So I understand them. They, they, they looking at it. This is their business. So if you can't listen, everybody competes with everybody on YouTube. Okay. Everybody. That's YouTube. Okay. Everybody comes on here and, and goes live when this person goes live. Okay. So if you can't step your A game up and you feel like you're going to lose supporters and you're going to lose your viewers, then hey, man, choose another time to go live. When it's prime time, it's prime time. I don't watch, I watch TV. You know what I'm saying? I watch Jimmy Kimball. You know, I watch, you know, um, Conan O'Brien. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, before Jimmy Kimball and all these dudes, it was David Letterman, you know, and it was Jay Leno, you know, and, 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 and they all was competing. So it's about competition. Being competitive is being competitive. And in the 80s, you know, like I tell people, competition is competition. You put your best shows up against mine, then hey, you know, it's, it's about network supremacy, man. So in the marketplace, and if Kevin Sane was a marketer and he knows about marketing and he knows about business, then he knows that this is business, nothing personal. So I kind of agree with, you know, fresh and fit on that. I think they had every right to do what's right for their business. If they have, they booking these females to come on their show and they are on time and they on schedule, then hey, you, you can't get mad with them and tell them that they can't go live or uh, uh, everybody knows. Listen, man, that's y'all. Y'all know that. They don't know that. They not a part of y'all brand. So you cannot get mad with people for going live so that's what i didn't understand why people was getting mad with them for going live the same time as kevin samuels i mean you, you gotta step up your shit business is business i went to school for marketing i understand what it is competition is competition and if you got the best product out there then you gotta step up your product 10 times more it's what it is um so like i said um now, the whole situation with the Ayante situation, I remember he used to be on, you know, Fresh and Fit, and then I think they must be had a fallout because he came up there and it was going crazy. And then it's just a whole lot of, you know, dudes talking about, yo, we, the, 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 the OnlyFans chick and all this. Listen, I don't understand why people have so much hate towards these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of dudes... And it's not to knock anybody because I don't have issue with nobody. Not Ayante, not Kevin Samuels, but I don't understand y'all dudes been on these people's platforms. What is the issue? Like, us as black men, we start to look like females. This is the red pill community in the black male sphere. And a lot of these dudes is acting like tender dick females and, 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 and really acting like you know, chicks, really emotional, you know what I'm saying, like, I don't get, and, I, and one thing I didn't like that, that Myron did, and I think he should have not did this, he should have never let the, the fans cave to the fans, you know what I'm saying, who cares what you did before you got on YouTube, that's none of their business, if they like your content, if they like your work, keep doing you, that's the only thing I had a problem with Myron saying, but other than that, I kind of understand where they're coming from. And I kind of seen people turning their back on these dudes and basically, you know, don't want to stand by these dudes. And it's all a territorial, uh, territorial, you know, um, BS. And it's a whole lot of jealousy. You know, these dudes got a younger fan base. Let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they are into popular culture. And a lot of these dudes just not doing it. Listen, they had 6 9 in their studio with academics and WAC 100. I think a lot of dudes are jealous of that. I think a lot of dudes on YouTube is jealous that they was able to get WAC 100 academics and 6 9 and able to get a lot of people to come up to their studio. And these... You know, YouTube content creators, 
that's in the black mental spirit can't do that. And it's no knock on them. It's just, you know, motherfuckers got to grind harder. It's just like what I talked about, like, well, Hassan. I, I tell people this all the time. I said, people don't like Hassan Campbell because he shits on these niggas every time with the numbers. And people, instead of them stepping their game up, they rather hate. And what I'm seeing is, is dudes with bigger platforms and smaller hating on Fresh and Fit, which I'm not understanding why y'all hating on these dudes. Y'all was supporting these brothers. Y'all been on these brothers' platforms. Y'all had a disagreement. Be like men. You know, keep it moving. But to throw stones at these dudes, it's ridiculous. It's showing that men can't be men and they got to hate. Why you got to hate on the next man? I'm not for that. You see, that's why I don't hate on the next man. I like a nigga platform. I watch a nigga platform. I don't hate on a nigga platform. That's crazy to me. Why hate when you congratulate that man? You know what I'm saying? A lot of these niggas be having trolls on their platforms. A lot of these niggas be associating themselves with trolls. A lot of them be doing the goofy shit. The, the doxing and, and, and putting people's information and trying to expose. Only in the black American culture. Just the black culture in general. Not just black American. But just in the black culture in general. We the only group of people that don't want to build. That's why they can't. That's why they don't take the black man on spirit serious. Okay. This is why people like Joe Rogan and, and, and Bill Burr and all these people, all these white red pill people, right? A lot of those white guys, they don't take the black mental spirit serious because niggas be goofy. Niggas be goofy. Niggas be goofy. Niggas be goofy and, 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 and it's no togetherness. It's not about doing a seminar. These dudes don't want to do seminars. These dudes don't want to do, you know, um, anything, you know, on some different type of realm. These dudes want to buy a pussy. These dudes want to cry over pussy, trick over pussy. They want to do everything instead of what's the right thing to do. You know what I'm saying? They're not even, they're not even bringing the red pill messaging no more. They not talking about get your shit together, work out, get your shit right, work on your finances, work on your life. They not telling you to do that. What they telling you is, is basically trick on a bitch, beef with your fellow black man, and then they got the nerve to talk about pookies and ray rays. You know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of nigga shit. It's a whole bunch of dudes being raised by their mamas acting like a bunch of bitches. You know what I'm saying? And what I didn't like is why is y'all dudes mad with these dudes going on the same time as Kevin Samuels? That's pure hatred. Y'all don't want to see them niggas shine. That's the way y'all y'all want to be like, nah, man, we got Kevin Samuels. We don't want to see Fresh and Fish shine. Nah, man, let them dudes eat too. Let them eat too. Let them dudes eat too. This is the problem. We don't want nobody to eat. We feel like if one nigga eat, we can't let nobody else eat. That's what. That's why I said what he said on his last live. He was talking about how everybody just want to be the head nigga in charge. It should be only one motherfucking lion in the jungle. Fuck that, man. That's the problem with our culture. Black culture is only about one nigga on top. And that's why we'll never win as a people. That's why y'all niggas hate the way y'all hate. This is why our culture is the way it is. This is why we can never win as a people. This is why we're going to always lose and we'll never do nothing. That's right. Like I said, fresh and fit, in my opinion, did exactly what they were supposed to do as content creators. People got a problem with them, you know, being businessmen, being professional, saying, listen, we have these women coming on our platforms and we, you know, we are running on a schedule. Dudes want to make these dudes seem like, oh, these dudes, 
Like, come on, man. And, and, and the fucked up part about it is, man, those is beefing over petty shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Ayante situation with, with, with Myron, you know, niggas was talking about, oh, goons ran up on these dudes. Come on, man. Like, that's, 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 that's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous, man. We gotta, we gotta do better. And I don't have, have no hate for that brother either. I like that brother platform too. But that wasn't the way to go either. You know, us as black men, we gotta learn how to fucking get the bag, man. The fuck is we doing? This is why, this is why we can't win. You know what I'm saying? And I wish those brothers would work again and, and they piece their situation out and, and, and try to bring something to the table. But the hate that these brothers is getting at Fresh and Fit is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Because I don't see what these brothers is doing that is so wrong. But I get it now. Because they got the six, because they had 6ix9ine, WAC 100, and academics at their studio. Niggas feeling some type of way. You should be happy that these niggas is bringing a new energy to fucking the black man who spit. I mean, you got to look at it. Kevin Samuels is for sugar daddies. His platform is for sugar daddies. That's who his platform is catered to. It's not for everybody. It's for sugar daddies. Okay? Fresh and fit. It's for dudes that want to get their shit right. Dudes that work out. Dudes that like to, you know, get some ass. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a new energy. It's pop culture. It's, 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 it's like watching, it's like the black version of No Jumper, but it's a little different. But it's popping. It's like the club. And niggas hating on them dudes for what? Let them dudes win, man. Stop all that hating, man. Y'all niggas look crazy, man. Let them dudes win. Stop all this talking about, yo, listen, man. Them dudes have every right to go to time they going live. Y'all can't, y'all can't. Dictate what people do. This is the problem with our people. We want to dictate what other people do. Let all of us win sometimes, man. Think about the other man that needs to win, bro. Y'all got Kevin. Why why can't it be another month? Why can't it be fresh and fit on top just like them? All the hate I saw fresh and fit guy is ridiculous. I seen non-star attacks. I'm like, yo, why y'all attacking these dudes? It's crazy. Y'all sounding like Cynthia G and these bitches, man. Y'all going in on these brothers for what? I got to change y'all fucking ways, man. Shout out to Fresh and Fit, man. I like y'all dudes, man. I don't got no issues with y'all, man. Y'all doing what y'all supposed to do, man. This is business. I understand what y'all was saying in that interview. It's, it's a business, and dudes need to understand, man. It, 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 all this fucking oh yo you don't need to go live nah man it's your business that's your channel that's your business nobody could tell you how to run your shit or how to do your lives you did the right thing y'all obliged him one time and he has a problem with y'all going live man it, listen man stop being a prima donna man nigga being a prima donna stop being a prima donna you know what I'm saying he know if he been in corporate America he knows what it is it's, it's just business competition 